Well, hello, everybody. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Ooh, it's awful quiet out here today. Jeez. A little bit warm out, not too bad. There's Frank the Big Tank. Frank the Tank. I got to name everything around here. That, that'll be his name now. That's Frank the Tank. So, I went online looking for a water filter, um, rainwater filter, and I found one on Amazon, and this is what it was. And they're kind of expensive, like 60-something bucks. And so I just did a general inter, you know, internet search for um, catching rainwater filter. And the screens go down as small as you, mosquitoes won't fit into them. And they're shaped like this, as you've seen. So if they get plugged up, the water will just overflow and whatever. And the screen just pops out. You can just knock it off and just clip it back in. And that stops all the shit you don't want going into your tank. So basically what you do is you unhook this right here and you screw it up under here and this water runs in. And then I'm just going to, uh, it takes a three or four inch round pipe and just 90 off of it and come over here. Now you can see I've already put my piece of wood up here. I've extended this piece up to come out with an L like this to support the pipe that would be laying up above it. And, um... I think there's a spot right here. I don't know if you can... Boy, the ants like this thing. Get off of there. Ants are having fun walking on it. So I went to the Amish. I got a 2x4, and I got some 1x4s to lay the pipe on to support it. So that's what these are for. This 2x4 is just a scrap extra piece, and this one here, I just got to cut it off and make an L out of it for pipe support. And I'm not sure exactly how I want to bring this in yet. If I want to just, because I got a big drill. I got a four inch drill. I can just drill into the side here and let it dump in, make a nice tight fit, or just have it drop into the top. But, because I want to make sure if there's a shit ton of water flowing out of this, I want to make sure I get all of it and not just overfill it. So, so that'll be coming. Um, so I found one on Mercury website, and I um, it was like twenty four dollars or twenty something dollars. It was brand new, and then I made an offer. Of Mercury is kind of weird. Um, you know, it's I've never been on that website before, so they're selling the same thing as Amazon that wanted over. So I don't say 65 bucks. I don't remember exactly off the top of my head. But she had it for what they want for it. And then underneath, okay, say she wanted 26. Then there's three boxes underneath. 26 for that. Or 24, 22, or 20 bucks plus shipping. And you can just click one. And I'm like, oh, of course I'm going to click 20 bucks, you know, plus shipping. And I won it. And I didn't even know I won it. And I was like, what the hell's going on? And I see the money taken out of my account. I said, okay, I think I won it then. So, yeah, that was kind of weird. And and then I finished. I went back and finished signing up, you know, getting registered for that channel so I can buy shit off of it. So that's kind of cool. So they basically have the same stuff everybody else has, but a wicked freaking discount. So... You know, you might want to go check out Mercury. I put a link in the description before that. If you go click on the description and sign up, I get a discount on my next item, and you get a discount on the next item. So, yeah, screw eBay. From now on, I'll be shopping on Mercury. Um, because you know how eBay works. You know, it says, make an offer. The guy selling something for $10. Make an offer. I'll give you nine fifty. The guy recounters with like, you know, nine dollars and ninety five cents. I'm like, what? What the hell kind of shit is that? 
You're going to offer me a nickel discount? You know, and that's what pisses me off. Because whenever I put a make an offer, if I got something on there for $1,000, you get some dickwad. Oh, makes you an offer for like 500 Come on, really? You know? So that's what pisses me off about that. But, um, yeah, McCurry is uh, pretty cool. So look at the, I'll make a comment below the link in there. If you click on that and go over there, we both make out. We both get a, you know, a discount. So that's kind of cool. So, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good deal. And um, that's nice. I'll be saving a lot of money. So, this tank prices, if you're confused about this tank prices, online it was $2,099, and now it's for the $15.50 tank. Now, I've noticed that this has a sticker over the sticker. Ugh, let me get back up again. So, there's a sticker over the other sticker, if you notice that. So, I just got lightheaded by standing up. Now, I don't know if I can peel this sticker off or not. What's this going to say? Ooh, is it going to work? I got a spider on it. Get out my tank, stupid spider. Oh, look at that. $18.99. Then they raised it to $19.99. And then on the website, they're $2,099. And I paid... One thousand ninety nine. I don't know. I paid. I got it a thousand dollars cheaper. Let's put it that way. So, yeah, which I showed you on the website, it was two thousand ninety nine dollars, and I got it for you know one thousand ninety seven dollars or something. So I saved a thousand dollars. Who's the smart shopper now? This guy. That's why I never never pay the first price you see on stuff and. Yeah, now some Joe Blow idiot would walk into Tractor Supply, and everybody knows Tractor Supply is way overpriced anyhow. All their shit's like way overpriced. So, yeah. So I kind of stuck it to him on this one for a grand. So I was pretty surprised that he matched a price that I found online for a tank similar to this one, and, and then he took 10% off. So it's a win-win, you know? So anyways, yeah, when that baby gets full of water, there's 12,000, almost 13,000 pounds that's going to be pushing down on that ground right there. So that's cool. But unfortunately, the forecast now all week long is sun. We had a chance of rain, but it's all sun. So it's already basically starting. Usually now we're getting rain left and right and blah, blah, blah. But now I'll bring up the forecast for you and I'll throw it up on here in a minute. And as you can see, you know, sun, 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 all the way down the line. So, yep. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll start filling it with my garden hose because I got an outside, an outlet right there. And that's what I would do. You know, I, I have an extra spare water pump, like a regular house water pump. I could set it up next to that and run that in the summer if I had to. This, you know, this is only if I had to. This is just a backup system. So, or I could use my little electric 12 volt pump, but I don't think it would handle, you know, I don't know. Well, it handles it in RVs, so why wouldn't it handle it in the house? So that's all you do is you just put a garden hose on it. You just back feed it into this pipe and then this pipe just back feeds it into the house. And, you know, you go to your breaker box and shut your water pump off because that will just be sucking air anyways in your well. But, and then one good thing is when your well comes back up, um, the water pressure would actually reprime the pump. So, so that's it. Nothing going on today. No big whoopie doos or nothing. You saw yesterday I had my big fan out there, giving me some wind. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know what it was yesterday. I thought I was going to have a stroke, but... Yeah. Well, too much strenuous of lifting all that heavy wood and moving that stupid tank around. And by the time I walk back in the garage, I had to stop for a minute and, and just relax for a second. But my breathing started getting really hard. I hope I'm not getting that COPD shit like my wife's got because I used to smoke three packs of cigarettes a day. So eventually I think that's going to catch up with me. So I'll be the next one on oxygen. So that's why I run around and do as much shit as I can do now because I have a feeling in the future I'm going to be screwed. So at least I can get all my fun now done and out of the way. But Anyways, I got a compliment yesterday. My neighbor over there had a party or something, and they complimented at her, her on her lawn. So I said, oh, my God, your lawn looks beautiful. And he even said it too next door. He goes, um, you can't believe the way how nice my machine cuts. You know? I said, man, your lawnmower cuts nice. I'm like, well, it should. I take care of it. You know, it's an old lawnmower now. Goodbye outside. But from some of you new, newer to the channel that hasn't really noticed my lawnmower too much, and what I've done to it is quite the mess. No, I've got a hydraulic cooler on it, and I've got an oil cooler on it. So, and then I relocated my oil filter over here. So my oil filter was down there, and I put a relocation kit in, and then I run it through a, a Summit cooler with a Summit fan. As you can tell, it's Summit. So, one keeps my hydraulics cool, one keeps my engine oil cool. And this is, uh, those are the fans coming on. So these are all my temperatures of... My oil going in and coming out, or going in and coming out, and my hydraulic temperature. So, and then this just tells me my charging voltage up here. So, yep. And this is for my remote gate where I was just at because it's powered. It's a power gate. So, when I'm on my lawnmower. I don't have to open up the gate, I just hit a button, and a you know, the little electric ram pushes the gate open for me. So, I can just drive in and keep mowing. I hate getting on and off the stupid lawnmower, but yeah, that's about it. Boring day. I got nothing going on. I'm not messing with that freaking door there. Screw that thing for now. Maybe some other day when I feel more ambitious. I got a lot done yesterday, so that's all that matters to me. So I'm just going to hang out with puppy dog and do nothing today. Just relax. Right, buddy? Just my good boy. Just my good boy. We had some donut this morning. Yeah, we had some donut. So, yeah, everybody's gone around. Everybody's gone somewhere. But, alrighty. That's it. Boring day today. Not much going on. So, I'll catch everybody later. Have a drink for me, because I don't drink. Have a good one.